Okay, hello and welcome to our operating theater. We will be demonstrating a case of a discectomy at the level L45. This is a fairly young patient. He's had acute onset of symptoms, L5 on the left side. If you look at the images, he's got a very large disc herniation, L45 on the left. So the goal is now to, to decompress the neural structures and um, do discectomies. So we'll start the surgery. Let's see the interlaminar window L45. This is where we will make our skin incision. Just a small five to six millimeter skin incision. We go down right next to the spinous process and we only incise the fascia so that we can go in with this next instrument here. We go straight down to the interlaminar window where we will position this instrument at the border between the yellow ligament and the facet joint. So the junction. See, and that's our entire access. That's our access in a 50 kilo patient or a 150 kilo patient. It's virtually the same access and takes 30 seconds to, to do your entire preparation to get down to the spine. Okay, from here on, everything is under endoscopic visualization. Okay, position. So, let's expose the interlaminar window. This is the bony structure, the facet joint, and we will have to widen our interlaminar window a little bit. Very important at the level L45, so that you, later on, once you are with your instruments in the spinal canal, don't add any type of compression uh, on the neural structures. There's yellow ligament here. This is cranial. There's the facet joint here, out here. Take one shot, one x-ray shot, just to confirm that we're working in the right tra uh, trajectory. You get different types of births, which we will use now just to open up our interlaminar window a little bit. So this is my preferred burr that I'm using here. So we're going laterally. Superior, superior part of the facet joint. That's where we're working right now. You can see there's hardly any bleeding. Yeah. If there is a bleeding, you can use the bipolar. You can use a diamond burr as well to create a little bit of local heat in the bone and, and stop these bleedings. So now, you can see we've done, we've opened our interlaminar window. There's our yellow ligament here. We only need to resect part of the yellow ligament. With this interlaminar technique, you can do discectomies, you can do soft disc pathologies. Um, we're doing decompressions, ipsilateral recess decompressions, over the top decompressions, uh, synovial facet joint resect resections. And here you can see, just now we opened the spinal canal. You can see epidural fat here. And now you simply rotate the instrument, go in like that, and you start taking bites towards the ipsilateral side. You can see every single epidural vessel here, great visualization. The neural structures are right there. And we will see them perfectly just now, which makes the procedure very safe. Uh, we'll do everything under full visualization of the neural structures. So our plan is to fully visualize the nerve root and then go laterally of the nerve root. And let's see in this case, 
if we can limit the procedure to a sequestrectomy, which I would prefer, and not do a discectomy, uh, which would have a lot of advantages for the patient. So let's see and let's have a look just now once we get there. So here we are. Ich nehme die Fasszange nochmal, obwohl brauche ich nicht. Passt schon. Ich nehme mich in den Sektor. Ja, yeah, and now we will mobilize. You can actually go through here with the bipolar already. And now this is going to be the fun part. I will perforate the posterior longitudinal ligament simply with a dissector. Yeah. Like I said, be very careful. Don't play around the nerve neural structures too much. But what you can do is you go in now, you perforate the posterior longitudinal, and there we can see the disc herniation coming out. That's it. Yeah, that's it. We simply perforated the posterior longitudinal ligament, and now we go in and we will get out all these fragments that are causing his pain. And you do that under full visualization so that it's safe. Yeah, first fragment, there will be more coming, much more coming. Look at that. Yeah, Frag more fragments. What you can do also is we call this the crocodile roll. You open the mouth of this instrument and then you go underneath the nerve root and you can mobilize fragments from medially. There, more fragments coming here. Uh, but I can see there's more here. There we go. Another big sequester. Sequester fragment. And later on we will confirm that everything has been fully decompressed. So let's now follow the nerve root caudally. Uh, there, there's the axilla over there, two o'clock. Here you can see the posterior vertebral body of L5 annulus here. Yeah, and everything's decompressed. Yeah, we can, we can mobilize our nerve root nicely. And that's it. That's the end of the surgery. So we do add a, just a little bit of perineural infiltration, a little bit of cortisone around the nerve root. You simply remove this one instrument. Like I said, same thing, 50 kilo patient or 150 kilo patient. You do a single stitch, and that finishes the surgery. So you can see, single stitch. Compressor. Yeah, and then you've got, then you did a full-on discectomy, sequestrectomy through a small little six, seven millimeter incision. Thank you very much for joining.